Hey guys, welcome to a vlog. I feel like I haven't vlogged in such a long time. I've just finished filming a YouTube video. Um, it's the work outfits lookbook, which should actually be coming up. You probably would have seen it already actually. Um, and then it's Friday night, so I wanna go out. So me and my sister and my cousin, we get, well, I'm ready, but they're getting ready now. So we can go to Sticks and Sushi, which is a sushi place. So I thought I would bring you guys along with me. Currently in a robe. Um, and Zayna is filming TikToks in my room in the background. But yeah, I haven't decided what I want to wear yet. But Sticks and Sushi is kind of like casual, but like I wouldn't really wear jeans there, but you can wear jeans there. I just want to, I just feel like dressing up a little bit. It's Friday, although I say dressing up, but I'm probably not going to dress up. Um, also, the reason these bits are hanging there, because actually my mum's, I had to borrow some of my mum's work clothes for the work office lookbook thing, because I don't have actually many smart stuff so these are actually my mum's bits so I hang them up there so I can give them back to her um but yeah I thought I would vlog because I don't usually go out I'm the most boring person ever so I thought the one occasion that I am actually going out to eat and like do something I might as well bring you guys with me so I hope you guys enjoy this vlog hopefully I can like record the food and like bits and bobs and I'll show you guys what I decide to wear this is what I think I'm going to wear um it's the black Zara body that I had in my last video with my leather pants that I literally live in when it comes to autumn winter I honestly need to get like another pair of leather pants because I feel like these are going to be worn so much so I need to find like a dupe of these Zara have a couple and also seen someone on H&M but I want to get like a real leather pair because I wear them so much I feel like it'll be worth the money like the investment to buy myself a real pair but yeah go for an all black outfit because that is always my safest bet for like a nighttime outfit I'm going to show you what's on my lips because I always get questions on what I wear so this is the lip liner that I always use. It's the Wet n Wild lip liner in the color Brandy Wine. So I line my lips with that. And then in the center of my lips, I go in with the NYX London Soft Matte Lip Cream to kind of create that gradient, you know? And then I top it off with this Glossier Red Lip Gloss. Now this is what makes my lips look really like like gives it that nice like pink colour because it has a red tint to it but obviously it doesn't look red do you know what I mean like I absolutely love it like this is my go-to lip gloss whilst I'm waiting for my sister to get ready I'm just gonna have this chocolate which is my favourite chocolate ever it's the Lint um 34% hazelnuts milk chocolate it literally tastes like Nutella mmm mmm Anyway guys, this is my sister. She comes into my room whenever she needs any like styling advice. Can I wear this? Yeah. Um, can I wear your Fenty? Yeah. I have a Fenty, it's just in my room. Oh no, wait, I have my lip gloss up. My door lip gloss. That's not why you're with me. I have my bomb workout, it's been working guys. Comment down below. My waist is actually smaller, I'm just not wearing a belt because when I wear a belt it's like she literally copies every look. I'm wearing leather pants today and a black top. And no, what's she wearing? I always. She literally comes into my room and goes from my wardrobe, and we are like completely different sizes. She's an extra small. <laughs> Why did you buy this? No, mum did. She's an extra small. Like she's tiny, and I'm. A, I wear like medium bottoms, and like so she's wearing my top today, which is fine because like we're both like similar size at the top. But like she literally goes from my cupboard and tries to wear things, and she doesn't fit. But it's because she loves my style so much. She Why is she wearing a crown, guys? <laughs> I need a shoelace. I don't have shoelace. The only shoelace I have is from my Chanel trainers. Wow, queen. Okay guys, so this is the outfit that I have decided to go for. So, oh, I think I showed you before anyway. Um, but I don't know what heels, like shoes to wear because I don't want to wear heels. I want to be really low key. So I might be just wear like a like, pair of kitten heels that have a black pair, but ideally I would like to wear a flat pair of shoes. I don't know, would it look weird with wearing, like it would be weird wearing trainers with this, wouldn't it? This is the top that I had in my haul, my thing, but I wore it off the shoulder. But today I'm wearing it like this, because I'm trying to be more modest, you know? My cousin has finally arrived. She's here now, but she didn't get the all black memo. Well, actually she did, but she says she doesn't have any black pants. So she's going to be the like color that's like the color blocker for us. Like, you know, three color rule. <gasps> the sunset. Okay, I'm going to show you the sunset. It looks so pretty. Wow. This is incredible. Wow. True, can you put my romantic music over this? Keeps getting me. 
getting better and better. I wish you could see what it actually looks like because I feel like this is not doing it justice. Wow. True, please keep this footage in. It looks so good. Don't delete this. It looks so nice. Okay, I wasn't really feeling the vibe of the um, the kitten heels. So I tried on these new Zara sandals that I bought the other day, but they're brown so they don't really go. So I went for these black ones that I bought ages ago and I forgot I had them. And I just remembered that I had them. So they're basically like a black version of the nude heels that I have. I'm wearing my Arquette blazer on top because it's a little bit chilly outside and I hate being cold. So I'm just gonna have this blazer on top as like a coat. And that is my outfit of the night. Oh my God, why is my earring like? I look so nice. Yeah, you look better than me. Hey guys, so we're in the Uber right now and the song is playing. I'm never gonna dance again. <laughs> I'm actually dreading like walking. Really? Oh my yeah. god. I told you, you always buy new heels all the time. I know. My heels are this big. I'm not even exaggerating. No, I'm not wearing the kitten heels. I'm wearing the bigger heels. I used to wear those to school. <laughs> they not actually used to wear these kind of shoes to school. Not in a <laughs> bad way though. They used to look good. In a very bad way. No. <laughs> Yeah, they, I'm actually running like across the road with heels on. Unless, oh my god, the car's actually coming behind me. This is not good. <laughs> um, guys, tell them, tell them. Tell my them top what? keeps falling down. You mean my top? She's wearing my top. Her, my top keeps falling down on her. Um, we're just trying to find the place that I want to go to, but we have to walk there. Wait, I don't think it's that way. I think it's this way. I feel like I'm in New York. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm in New York City, Girl, baby. Okay, so we need to go through this little bridge and all my sister does is film TikToks. Oh. We're here, we found it, and it's very little water, cute. We're, we're here and this is the menu. I think we want to go for this. And the crab. I literally sat in the and the some cauliflower because it has black truffle and you guys know I love truffle and then the ebby bites and then probably some sushi but we'll decide that later we're with, we're with someone who doesn't really like raw fish yeah so, so um, like, uh, what, what's the word? You have Anissa to, like, doesn't really like fish, so she's gonna be trying new stuff. Right, Anissa? And we're gonna be rating everything. We're gonna be rating everything out of 10. This is the yellowtail fish, and then this is um, ebby prawns with tuna on top and like some barbecue sauce. This is yellowtail dipped in truffle oil. Do you like it? I picked it. Go in with a good mindset that you're gonna enjoy it. You can just taste the truffle, isn't it? It's not fishy at all. Guys. <laughs> She's crying. <laughs> Why is it not good? It's so hot. It tastes like just like truffle, doesn't it? I Amazing. It. Denisa, what do you think? Flower with the truffle, <laughs> and then this is the ebby prawns. Um, no one had the ginger. Cauliflower is very bland. I thought it would be more um, saucy. Right, she's eating. What is it? Say what it is. <laughs> Spicy tuna. Spicy like me. Your makeup's really nice. Thank you. Um so she came up to say she really liked my outfit. <laughs> this is how you make friends. I met the loveliest um subscriber. She came up to me, said hi, and it honestly made my night. So thank you so much for coming and saying hi and your makeup.
makeup look on point. She has a makeup page actually, I'll put it here because her makeup looks flawless at like the face. Was... I literally complimented her makeup yeah. like without before her telling Like her. I felt embarrassed talking to her with my crusty makeup. <laughs> She was so sweet, she came and said hi and they wanted to be my night because I like I know when I see like people that I watch on YouTube I always feel awkward to say hi. Um but like I honestly make my day so thank you so much Sam. These taste amazing, like it literally like melts in your mouth. It's like it literally like melts in your mouth. <laughs> more this creme brulee is like I'm, I was expecting like a, a big pot look, look that's actually tiny I was like to say that I'll share with you but so we finished eating and we're gonna get an uber home now it's actually so cold like it's actually unbelievably cold the temperature has like dropped and I am very full right now and I just can't wait to get home and take my makeup off okay now we need to look very but I'm so bad at like Pinning for pinning my point for where I am for Uber, and it's also like kind of raining. Oh, it is raining! It's raining, guys! <laughs> it's raining. Hey, everyone. Hi. It's me, Nuri. Back at it again. Um, hi, guys. I'm back home now. As you can tell, I'm in my robe, feeling very comfy. I'm gonna take my makeup off now, and then I'm gonna go to bed. I don't know why I'm gonna make anything. Yeah, I'm just gonna take my makeup off, go to bed, relax, and vlog tomorrow. So see you in the morning. Good morning everyone, today is Saturday, so um, I'm just woken up, my hair looks really funny when I tie it up, like because it's too short, these little bits hang out at the bottom so it looks like, I feel like I look like I have a mullet. Yes, good morning, I'm going to have breakfast and we are going out to Christopher's later today, um, it's this place that does like these brioche, chocolate brioche toast things i always see on instagram and i've never actually tried it ever and it always looks amazing and like everyone goes there so we are going there today but the only booking they had was at 5 p.m so ideally wanted to go for like lunchtime, but it's gonna have to be like 5 p.m so i'm gonna go downstairs and make myself like breakfast because i'm starving i'm really hungry I make myself some breakfast i'm gonna eat that and then probably get, come back up and do my makeup and get ready and like the sun is peeking through so maybe the weather should be good today I have been using some like new skincare bits for like the past month now I would say and I just want to show you guys because I absolutely love these products by the way none of this is like sponsored but even if it was that wouldn't make a difference because I wouldn't share something that I didn't actually enjoy so I use this Caudalie Vino Pure Toner um, after washing my face and this one is like amazing I feel like I've seen a real difference in my skin using this then I use the kombucha, the fresh kombucha facial treatment essence. So this is before you put this on after using a toner and before any serums and creams. It kind of like helps absorb the products much better. And a lot of Korean um, skincare people use this, so it's supposed to be really good. And then I go in with the hyaluronic acid by The Ordinary, which is amazing if you have dry skin. But also if you have like oily skin, um, hyaluronic acid is good because it's just for moisture. So I think everyone should be using this and then I go in with my Nivea day cream I have been using this cream for like three years now or maybe more like this is my go-to day cream it's the only cream that I can use that keeps my skin moisturized and it has SPF 15 although it has SPF 15 in it I always go on top with a separate SPF so I use the La Roche-Posay SPF 50 because that is definitely not enough for your skin you should always wear SPF even if you're just in the house because the light from the, like the windows and everything like that it really affects your skin so if you don't want your skin to age as quick as it should if you don't want your skin to age just use SPF and it's just obviously better for like everything else Okay, so this is my breakfast. I'm having a, um, a bagel with some cream cheese, an egg, and two turkey bacon pieces. I'm just gonna put some hot sauce on it and eat that. Mm. Not very healthy, but 
it's tasty. And also, excuse the presentation, this does not look appetizing <laughs> at all. The egg just popped when I put the other bagel on top. I love that. I just received some deliveries and I'm going to show you guys um, actually no because I'm going to film a haul so I got some H&M and Zara stuff but I'll show you these shoes I got from June this is the first time I'm going to be seeing them too so I might even not like it I don't know oh my god they're like they're the dad sandals that like get sold out all the time I think I love them they're like the like the Chanel ones that are like £700 and impossible to find. I know it's autumn, so like, well it's not autumn yet, we're in summer, but it's like nearing the end of summer. But I feel like you can definitely wear these in autumn, sometimes. Like right now the sun is shining so much that like I could wear it today. Um, but they are a bit pricey, they're £110, but I think they're worth it because the Chanel's are like £700, £800 and impossible to find. So I'm going to try them on and see what I think about them. Little update, I'm in the middle of doing my makeup. Wow, and I'm just watching Sophia and Chintzia while I do my makeup. Does anyone else just have like YouTube videos playing in the background when they're watching videos? Okay, so this is the outfit that I'm thinking about wearing with the new dad sandals. Oh, sunlight is coming through, yes. So this is the outfit that I'm thinking about wearing. It is my Topshop trousers, these are really old. I will try and link something similar down below. And then I've got my Arquette blazer, which I love. I literally throw this on top of anything when I don't know what to wear. Like, I even wore it last night, you guys saw. I absolutely love it. It's like the perfect blazer, definitely worth the price. And then I'm wearing um, this Zara knitted bralette. And then Chanel bag and the dead sandals. But knowing me, I'll probably get changed because I always get changed a hundred times before leaving the house. I'm like the most indecisive person ever. I don't know if I like these sandals. Like, I'm, I need to get used to them. I don't know how I feel about them. This is my makeup of the day. Always looks the same. Like, I literally don't do anything different to my makeup. But I think I might have to film like an updated makeup routine because like quite a few things have changed in my routine, which I think makes my like base look better. So I will maybe film another makeup video if that's what you guys want to see. I'm gonna try and take some like mirror selfie pictures in the mirror just in case when we go out it's too like um windy. Also I'm just th the reason I paused is because I'm thinking about how my lip gloss is gonna get stuck to my hair and I actually hate that. Now I need to wait for the sun to come out again so I can take a picture in this outfit. I know that Drew is gonna hate these sandals. He hates I think that like most men hate these kind of sandals. He probably told me like they look like what he used to wear when he was younger, which he actually did. A lot of boys used to wear these when they're younger, but it's fashion true, it's fashion, okay? I am still wearing the Lola Ray top that I wanted to wear. Um I've just paired it with these black leather leggings that I got from Zara. Um my Dr. Martins, they're out now. Look at this mess, like it's actually embarrassing. Um and my weekday blazer from last year and my vintage Chanel bag. So this is my OOTD. We all look like we're part of like some blazer guy. Yes. We're all wearing blazers. So we've just come out of the train station. We got off at Embankment. It was a really quick train ride and now we're just walking to Covent Garden because that's where Christopher's is. And we're gonna walk along the water. Okay guys, I just found this really cute little bit on the walk to Comet Garden. Thank you Zaina for demonstrating. I'm gonna try and get take some Instagram pictures here and see if I like them. I'm so good at finding locations, Zayna is gonna copy me and take her pictures. Yeah, if you look on my Instagram, it's basically... Basically, same. everywhere I take pictures, Zayna takes pictures because I just have an eye, you know, for... Well, I don't really have an eye, it's just anywhere that's beige. 
and neutral. Also, my hair keeps getting stuck in my lip gloss, which is so annoying. But um, it's a really nice day today. Like the weather is like cool, calm, breezy, but like not gloomy. And Zayna's also vlogging, so I feel like her vlog is going to be a repeat of mine. I'll leave Zayna's channel down below. Zayna's my little sister, by the way, so if you want to watch her. So we're walking towards Covent Garden, like the main bit, and it's a little bit busy. We quickly came to Franklin Manka to get some pizza because we're really hungry and we have like 20 minutes until our reservation and we're like a couple minutes away. So we're going to have some pizza first and then we're going to go to Christopher's to have Brioche. Just gonna go for the number two, so it's just a mozzarella pizza. Can I just say I really appreciate um, the like seclusion that we have, like the little barriers. So it's like we really have this little section to ourselves. We're all just gonna share one pizza because we're actually going to Christopher's literally straight after. So we're just gonna have this pizza really quickly. Almost got run over by cyclists. Yeah, Christopher's. <laughs> Do you want to take a picture there? So this is what we came here for. The warm brioche French toast. Oh no, actually the chocolate brioche French toast milk. Then that ice cream and chocolate sauce. And this is where we're sitting. This is the view. It's so pretty. Food has arrived. What is this sauce? It's the milk chocolate. Yeah. Oh, you chose it. Yeah, weird. Did I? Come on, like, why should we in circles? What, how are we supposed to do it? I, just, I thought you were just going to do it overly. Mmm, that looks so I good. It know. smells like cinnamon. I'm so excited to eat this. Good. It cured her headache, so that means it's good. Okay, guys, I finished most of it, except for this one little bit. Um, it is very sickly and sweet, so I feel a bit sick now. <laughs> but it was nice, but I probably wouldn't get it again because it's just, yeah, like, I prefer savoury food anyway. But wow, I actually ate that quite fast because you have that much there. You have that much there. You have the most left. And I have this much there. 